Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were wrapping up the last discoveries. And there we go, there's the balloon seed. Excellent. I thought that one was uh, going to take ages to find, and I guess in a way it did, but luckily we managed to fast forward most of it. There was a time when balloon flowers could be seen throughout the lands, but now they only exist in history books. But where... Uh, but... Where there are seeds, there must be flowers. Perhaps the history books are not quite so accurate. I would hope not. Anyway. I think we should probably go and hand all of these in. Seems to be the smart thing to do. Let's go Nasrad. Sure. There's a nice little place in Nasrad where we can do that. Now. Should be near enough beautiful the destroyed city come on let me park thank you okay let's go make some more money so after that one balloon seed We're on the ice lens okay right let's go and hand these in for large quantities of money. We do like money in these parts. Alright yeah, Chief, just still chilling, selling your wares, that's what we like to see. Okay, so there is still a uh, black blooper that we have to fight. Um, but that won't be for a little while yet. Oh, we don't want to buy. Oh, wow. Damn, son. We got some cash here. We're ringing this guy literally for everything he's worth. Might end up getting nearly a million. Well, yeah, nearly a million just with all these discoveries. 300k to go. Nice. So, if we take a little gander at our discoveries now. Um, so let's go for journal discoveries. Oh, it's so satisfying filling this out. So, balloon seed. So, next we have the ice lens. Which, well, I mean, if you think it's over in the ice land, you'd be right. Okay. Very nearly on the last page. And that is something. I don't know if I actually got all of the discoveries in the Dreamcast version back when we played it way back when. Uh, I'm gonna say uh, we probably didn't get all of them. Maybe, I, I honestly can't remember. Um, I know they're obviously less in the Dreamcast version. But I don't know if there was you know, if there was a huge difference, it's definitely less for sure. But I don't think it was like a massive, massive, massive uh, difference. Right, anyway, let's get above the clouds. That way we don't have to worry about combat. And let's go. Let's go right over the top of Valua. Because screw those guys. And now we should be in the ice. Well, almost. There we go. Alright, let's drop down. Now, I believe what we're looking for is somewhere around here. Kind of. Kind of, sort of. There we go. You found the ice lens. Excellent. A giant's lens made purely of ice. It is supposedly impervious to heat. Legend has it that the people of the ancient world used the lens to burn ships out of the sky or to see faraway lands. But then, why was the focal point last centered on the glacier itself? Mysteries. Mysteries. Maybe they used it to melt a hole in the ice so they could build their city. Who knows? We never will, that's for sure. So, now... We've actually got quite a few of these next ones. 
so if we go back next page uh, journal so and probably easier if we go this way now so, wow we literally have three five six seven eight nine left to find okay so the next one is whatever is after the uh, Ryu goo turtle so we need the sky ladder which is so the sky ladder is at the s the mall of tartarus apparently kind of almost but not quite so we want to go south okay well kind of southeast really ah oh, god damn it can't avoid them all i guess Right, burn them all out, Ica. Yeah, man. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Not really worth our time, but hey ho. Yeah, southeast. Let's go. God, you know, I really don't remember um, being so few battles when you're this high above the sky. I really don't remember that at all. So let's. So the more of Tartius is east, back the way we came. So somewhere, aha, it's this one. I think should be there. We go. Nice skyladder. A value in legend states that before the age of airships and air balloons, the people of the ancient world over many years built a ladder from which they could see the entire world. What would the people of that era think of Valua's own armada? Uh, either pride or disgust. How tall is that? I mean, God, imagine climbing that ladder. Oof. No thanks. Anywho, so next we want the... Uh, Rio Gu Island, which is around the turtle of the same name. So it's somewhere kind of east. Right, let's go. So the turtle has its own island. I do wish there was a better. Um, order that the game tracks these so we'll say achievements then but the a better order that the game tracks these bloody discoveries in but hey we can't have everything I suppose right so according to my information it's kind of here somewhere so aha so there's the tree uh, a little bit further down from the tree ah so there's the turtle we already have the turtle so where is your island my dude oh there I guess really ah look how awesome that looks and so the turtle brought the old man to an island of great beauty where the beautiful princess Otto awaited. They laughed and ate and danced for days. When the turtle finally brought the old man home, 300 years had passed. Holy crap. That's pretty freaking cool. So next we have the Tomb of Ice. Which, well, yep, I guess... is back to the land of ice. I suppose, really, we could just fly straight east, couldn't we? Yeah. Let's go. Straight east. And whilst we're going straight east, we can head slightly northeast. Now, there's our prior discovery um, so what we want to do apparently get above this 
like straight east. And it should be here. There we go. We found the Tomb of Ice. Oh wow, look at that. A coffin of ice built by a father who could not bear, s bear his sorrow. The girl encased within the ice bears an expression almost resembling a smile. Etched onto a tablet sealed within are uh, the words, My daughter, may your beauty be eternal. So he froze his daughter so she wouldn't rot. Okay, cool, I guess. Now, we're on to the last ones now, boys. Now, discoveries. Yep, we're on the last page. Last discoveries available. So... We might not be able to get some of these. Oh no, we can. We can get these two at least, I think. It is possible that we might not be able to get all of them. Right. So we have to go back to Yafatoma, apparently. So we can basically just fly northeast, really. That'll work. Northeast, right above the clouds. Let's go. Might run into some cool fish on the way. Might not. It would have... Ooh. Ah, it's the crazy train. It would have been cool if they, like, put a little bit um, more up here, maybe. Because it just does seem a little bit odd that there's actually very little up here. And below, for that matter. Anyway, let's go down. Deeper underground. Now, what we're looking for is apparently here. Well, that was easy. So we found the stone lovers. It is said that the tomb of a great Yafatoman king is hidden somewhere near the statue. The people of Yafatoma believe that his statue was carved after his death to show the love that his people had for him and the love that he had for his wife. Okay then. Cool. Right. Next. Deep Iron Star. Oh wait, have we... Have we not got the Deep Iron Star? Really? That seems awfully familiar. I guess not. Okay, Deep Iron Star. Well, unfortunately, this is another one that moves around. But that's okay. We can handle this. So it certainly looks like it does move around. Okay. And we need to find it roughly down here somewhere. Okay. Head down south, past the Guardian Wall. And then I guess we're just going to lay and wait for it. And hopefully, it doesn't take too long. Come on. Where are you? I know you're here somewhere. There's no point in hiding forever. Small metal aeroplane that flies in a square. Well, okay. So if we actually look at the area it flies in, it's kind of... Down, all the way down to this guardian wall. I suppose, really, we could patrol just a little bit to increase our chances of finding it. And there's the guardian wall. Yeah, so this is kind of like as far down as it comes. Now we just have to play the waiting game. I know, as soon as I stop recording bloody thing's going to turn up. So, we just wait it out. Come on. You can't hide forever. 
tiny little plane thing. It looks like it's really low as well. Which probably won't help us in finding it. Also, don't know what way it goes. I don't know whether it's going clockwise or anti-clockwise. I guess that shouldn't really matter too much. So if we look west, yeah. It should at some point. Ah! Is that it? There we go. It's like on a cable. That's curious. You found the deep iron star. A metallic relic of the ancient world, legend has it that the ancients once harnessed the power of the blue moon to be able to direct sound waves to let them know when their enemies were approaching. Perhaps this machine once served such a purpose. So it's a sonar boy, basically. Huh. Interesting. So the sky train we have. Wow, we got apparently lucky with the sky train. That looks quite difficult to find. Flying flail, we have that question mark. The flying flail. That actually sounds quite interesting. No, we don't. We don't have the flying flail. Oh, you're going to be a complete bastard. Huge radius that patrols the sky. Starts around the thick, dark rift on the eastern end of the map okay so that's high right okay so we need to go up here basically all right let's go back down avoid combat and once we're somewhat halfway up yeah, so around here. We need to go shooting right up into the sky. Kind of look west. Oh, man. This is going to be a proper dick. But that's fine. I wouldn't want to look... Ooh. No, that's Iron Star. I wouldn't really want to look overboard whilst we're doing this experiment, to be honest. While searching for it. What's really annoying is it could literally be behind us. So it basically goes from there all the way down here. Turns around and goes up and all the way back. Ugh. That's pretty brutal. But that's okay. That's okay. If it's out there, we shall find it. Because we're pirates. And that is what pirates do. No luck so far. So let's go slightly north. Up to about here. And then east. And yeah, that puts us roughly on track. Come on. Where are you? Where is my flail? It's going to be an absolute nightmare to find. I already know this is going to be like one of the hardest, isn't it? You bloody know it is. Come on. Ah, uh, we've missed it so far. I wonder if it's going to be one of those situations where it's literally worth just standing back. Looks potentially like a giant tadpole, apparently. Giant tadpole swimming through the sky. Okay. Oh, apparently, it's very small. Which does not bode well for us. Um, save game and reset. Travel to the ancient palace discovery. 
Right, so it recommends... Ancient... Ancient Palace. Right, it actually recommends we go to the Ancient Palace. Interesting. And the Ancient Palace was like here. So it recommends we go there. Save, reset the game. Oh, oh, or, you know, we could just get lucky. And find it here. Wait, hang on. Is that it? That, that's it. That's it, boys. Nice. Okay. You found the flying flail. Like, what the hell? An ancient history book shows records of the contest of strength in which athletes would spin balls of steel at great speeds and launch them into the air to see whose ball travelled the furthest. Could this ball be from such a contest? Uh, maybe? Not sure why it's perpetually just orbiting around the, the world, but hey, I mean, we've seen weirder things, right? Okay. So, next is the Rolling Stone. Do we have the Rolling Stone? One way to find out. We do not have the Rolling Stone. So the Rolling Stone, oh God, yes. If you were wondering whether it's one of those bloody mobile ones, you'd be right. So, okay. Southeast, I'm guessing. So the Rolling Stone kind of goes in this sort of direction. Ugh. Yep, not a fan of these ones, but hey, there's only a couple left to get. And that's not bad. Definitely be happy with that. Ooh, there's the train. Sky train. Off on its rounds again. So, the, it starts around here. And, of course, it's right at the bottom. Hey. Esperanza. Okay. So, are we going to get very lucky with finding the rolling stone? Uh, maybe. Maybe not. I guess we'll just start exploring. And hoping for the best. Hoping for the best. Seems to be reasonably the only thing we can hope for. So, oh, and it goes under the dark rift. Oh, that's really awkward. That's really awkward. But I'm guessing there's probably an easy way of getting this one too. So, have a look. If you want to use a save game trick, then position yourself below Ken's Island, facing north before saving your game and resetting your console. Okay, so. Where was that? Where's Ken's stuff? Right, so there's his. So I guess we could do what the game's saying. Go there and save it. Uh, might be quicker than just waiting here. I'm not really sure how fast this thing really moves, to be honest. I mean, logic does say if we wait here long enough, we should eventually see it, but... That, I guess, depends how long we want to sit here and wait. When we can literally just do the reset game glitch. Which isn't actually a glitch in the slightest, so I don't know why I called it a glitch, but you know what I mean. Come on. 
Any time. No time like the present. Come on. Really? I uh, don't think this is going to work for us, to be honest. Uh, right, okay. Let's just go to... Let's just do the reset glitch thing. I'm going to call it a reset glitch just because that's what my brain is telling me it's called. But Right, so Ken. Let's go visit his island. And then what we have to do, we have to save it and then travel north. So his island is here. Let's just drop out of the sky. Where you at, bud? Where you at? Where you at? And of course we've got combat. Ugh. Um, attack. There we go. Let's just kill as many of these bastards as we can. Waste of time, really, but hey-ho. Alright, let's drop a save. Actual physical proper save. Like so. And then... Oh, that's inverse aisle. It's not even the bloody place we want to be. Ugh, I am a moron. I know this. I accept this. There's his island. Ugh. Oh, the humanity. Alright, come on, Ica. Do your job. There we go. That's why we pay you the big bucks. Decent amount of gold, too. Okay. Actually, that wasn't too bad. Right. So. We need to come in here. Wait. Where's... Where... Can we not save the game here? Why is it mentioned saving the game if we can't? If you want to save the game, then position yourself below his island. Ah, right. Okay. I see what it's saying. I was going to say... What's... Right, so we want to position ourselves below his island. Um, facing north, apparently. Like so. Um, and then head north until we reach the impassable rift. So, let's try that. Drop down and save. And then, I guess, we'll stop current emulation. We should play the game. And hopefully, we'll have just what we want. And I guess we'll drop a save state as well. Here, just in case we burger it up. So, there we go. Thank you. Don't know why the save states weren't working again. Uh, you know, I guess that's just dolphin emulator, really. So now we want to go uh, head north until you reach the impassable rift. Ah, there it is. Look at that. It's actually quite a big <laughs> rolling stone. In the dark rift, there is a boulder that defies the power of the storm within which it still lives. Scientists have tried to study the rock to figure out how it floats, but it moves with such speed that any ship that gets too close gets pulled into the depths. Yeah, pretty, pretty bad stuff. So. One left. Oh man. One single one left. So. This is the issue. Oh, that long line we found was the final uh, discovery, apparently. So, for the 89th and final discovery, you have to do a whole boatload of crap. 
Find and report every discovery location. Defeat all four giant monsters. We've done that. Win more than 12 non-story ship battles. I'm not sure if I've done that. Recruit all available crew members. Pretty sure we've done that. Uh, no, we still... Ah, shit. There's two crew members we still haven't got. Must have loaded a save or something. Okay, well, we'll do that. Ah, we've got to complete every wanted battle and collect all bounties. We have to complete the Moonfish side quest and view the final scene and open 90%. Ah, man, so we can't actually do this for a while. Okay, alright then. Well, what we'll do now then to end this video is we will go to the Sailor's Guild at Esperanza and sign out this video. There was a Sailor's Guild in Esperanza, wasn't there? Pretty sure there was. And we need to be going... Is it Northwest? Yeah, Northwest. There has to be a Sailor's Guild there. Although, kind of... I don't know, actually, if there is. I don't think there is. Thinking about it? I don't remember one in there. That's ah, fine. We'll go to Sailor's Island. It's kind of on the way. Sort of, but not really. So, we've just got the final discovery to get. And it looks like that's going to be one of the last things we actually do in the game. Right, so I'm going to grind some ship battles off camera. I think I'm going to try and get, I don't know, try and do like 10 just to get them done. Um, sell info, right. Let's see how much money we can get from all of this. All right, not as much as I was hoping, but, you know, still a decent enough chunk. Three quarters of the way to getting a million. So not bad. Yeah, cool stuff. Blow it out your ass, dude. Anyway, so when we come back, I guess we're going to go and find the last two... Um, crew member. Crew members, if we can. Uh, I know Games Librarian told me about one of them. But I could have sworn I did it. Was Did that happen in one of the videos that didn't record properly? Maybe. That's kind of annoying, actually. But anyway, when we come back, guys, I guess we're going we're gonna to look for two crew members. And then possibly do some wanted battles? Yeah, we'll figure it out, I'm sure. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.